guys, it's Griffin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D text in Photoshop. So I think this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial because it's not a very hard thing to do. Uh, it definitely doesn't look as good as Cinema 4D text renders, but if for, for any reason you can't get Cinema 4D or something, then this would be a good option for making 3D text. So I'm going to make a new text layer on my document. I already have a document open, uh, 1920 by 1080 dimensions if you're wondering. So I'm going to make a new text. I like to turn caps lock on when I type out stuff. Uh, I'm just going to do text for an example. And then what I'm going to do to center it is I'm going to do control A. And then up at these buttons at the top, I'm going to center it horizontally and then center it vertically like that. And then control D to deselect. Just like that. And then the way you're going to make it 3D is you're going to go up to 3D. Oh, also, a good thing to do is do Control J to make a duplicate copy of your text just in case you want to go back and make changes to your text or like change what you wanted to say. So I'm going to hide the text below that. So we're going to be affecting our duplicate only. You're going to go up to 3D. Oh, and make sure you have this text layer selected. 3D, new 3D extrusion from selected layer. No. I'm going to close this. Okay, now this is our 3d workspace right here so I'm gonna go up to the rotate tool these are our 3d modes right here I'm gonna use the rotate tool so I'm gonna go up to the top of the text and then drag down to put put the text at an angle like that or if you think it looks nice like this you can do that but I don't think it looks very nice like that so I'm gonna do it like this it all really just depends on personal preference whatever you like and I'm gonna go over to the side I'm gonna drag to the right to put it at an angle like that. I think it looks pretty nice like that. So a problem I get after I rasterize our 3D layer by going here, rasterize 3D, we get a weird shading effect on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is control Z that, and I'm gonna drag it upwards so it's not behind those, um, what's it called? Those little things right here. I don't know what to call it, but I'm gonna drag it up so it's above that and then I'm gonna rasterize the 3d layer so I'm obviously not a genius when it comes to Photoshop 3d because I usually just use cinema 4d to do my renders because it looks a lot nicer and you can do a lot more with the lighting so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed leave a like and comment and also subscribe and thank you so much for 7k subs I'm, I've been gaining so many subs lately it's actually crazy so I'm probably going to have a Christmas pack for you guys, a Christmas graphics pack for you guys uh, for free. It's not going to cost any money. It has nothing to do with Christmas or anything. It's just going to be like a collection of uh, stocks and effects that I use in my previous graphics. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and I'm out.